Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I'm going to have one YouTube page and one Instagram page on this cam. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed day. I pray you're having a beautiful, blessed week. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, <clears throat> keep you safe all days and all ways, okay? And I'm sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. And anybody sending any negative energy towards me, towards Pisces, or in this reading, maybe return back to send a thousand fold. All right, so <clears throat> something's going on with your throat chakra, okay? Or something's going on with someone's throat chakra that may be around you. But let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Pisces? Someone rising Venus and North and North Node. Someone's name could be North. Okay. Something could be going on. You could be horseback riding. Or someone could live in the north, like on the north side, north side, north side drive, north side could be significant in the north, up top. Okay, that's random. <clears throat> but your spirit guides are here. <clears throat> somebody, somebody needs to either speak to you. You could be needing to say something or you could be praying more or you could be needing to express something to God or someone here could be talking to God or they need to take more time to pray and talk to God. Okay, we have here you are in a very lucky and beautiful energy, Pisces. Okay, it's all about you staying focused. <clears throat> they want you to stay focused on the goal. You are embodying this divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And there's a new life that's coming towards you. Okay, this is also like you meeting someone that you're meant to procreate with. Okay, it's like masculine and feminine energy, yin and yang energy. Okay, your spiritual team is bringing this towards you. They're also protecting you from people that are sending you evil eye. There's somebody that could be attacking, attacking your throat chakra. Okay, you may do something where you speak or somebody here doesn't like something that you're saying. Or you could speak the truth. Okay, I don't know if you heard that. I was like honking outside right now. <laughs> but your spiritual team is like they got you you are in a very beautiful and abundant prosperous energy that is a divine feminine male or female you are attracting what aligns with you on your highest good and literally there's people that are hating on you they sending you evil energy okay it could be because you're psychic somebody here even could have went to a psychic to try to send you some type of energy attack okay with the nature spirit and it's because you have trust in god Anytime you're in a dark place, you have trust in God. You also have strong studies that's here. Somebody here was trying to gain knowledge on you. It could be because you're psychic, you're intuitive, you're empathic, you have the clears. Okay, you have all, a lot of spiritual gifts and talents that's here with this psychic energy that's being here. Yeah, it's all about you praying. Um, most definitely, you could be needing, needing, somebody here could be needing something. They could be wanting to meet you, okay, or needing bread. Like somebody here could be a baker. That's random, but you could be needing to take more time for prayer. That's next. You could be needing to take more time to pray. Okay, rosaries could be significant. You could be going to church, or there's someone here that's going to church. This is also you needing to come back home to self. Okay, the number 40 could be significant, 48, the number 16, the number 7, the number 4, and the number 6. June, April could be significant, July, 77 here. This is a confirmation, also a warning for you. You also have your April and the number 11, 84 is here, 48 is here, the number 4, the number 7, the number 16, 61, 42, 24, the number 4, the number 74, 47. Any of these dates could be significant to you or these numbers. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, what is Pisces in this one? Yeah, Pisces, there's most definitely a, a dark high priestess or someone that is going to a dark high priestess that could be trying to affect you because you have a happy home, okay? You're solid at this time. Things are on the up and up for you or there's stability that's here. Yeah, you're in a calm energy. You're in your energy, okay? There also could have been some type of delay or hold up, 
okay, or some type of stagnation, or somebody here was trying to delay this for you, this happy home. <clears throat> Pisces, this is your energy. There's a sacrifice that's needed. I was just about to say that, and it popped out. You're needed to let something go so that you can gain a higher level of knowledge and an awakening, enlightenment. Okay, this could be a Gemini, someone that could be in your energy at this time. This is happening today. This is in the present moment. This is happening right now. Okay, Aquarius is here as well. You could be a star. Or there's some type of prayer that's getting ready to be answered, a blessing that's coming in, the number 17, the number... 12 could be significant, but they want you to be single. It's time that you focus on self at this time. It's, it's something about you letting something go so that you could be divinely guided towards a spiritual partnership. What's the sacrifice that's needed? Okay, this could have to do... <clears throat> oh, yeah, you could be praying over something or praying about something, or you have to let something go so that somebody here can get on their path of, like, prayer. Okay, forgiveness. Okay, changing their life. The two of cups. This could be in regards to a relationship, a connection. Yeah, acceptance is needed. There's some type of acceptance that is like coming to terms with the situation. Yeah, you could have been with someone that had a a hard time accepting things, and this could be you in regards to like the way people view you or the way people view the relationship or the connection. Somebody here wanted to appease other people, even though it was true love with the Ace of Cups. Okay, there could have been a lot of things that this person was hiding, moon energy, a lot of secrets, a lot of spiritual darkness, a lot of like hidden motives and agendas was taking place here. Yeah, the two of cups. This was in some type of relationship. Or this could be coming out after, you know, because you could be taking a leap of faith towards a relationship. What's the ace of cups about? Sagittarius energy is here. Yeah, this is happening now. There's a completion that's here with the world. Okay, the empress with you. You're closing something out with someone because you love yourself. This could be with someone that you could have felt like was true love or someone here that could have felt like, you know, you were true love in their life, but they are someone that's dark. The high priestess in the reverse. Either this person doesn't listen to their intuition. There's a lack of like trusting in the divine. There's a lack of like listening to who, like to you in different ways. And I'm not saying like they have to like, you know, like listen like that, like you're their parent. No, but like in regards to just taking like, wisdom advice from you or even like just being on a team with you somebody here it was it is true love <clears throat> someone here that's why somebody here their throat chakra is like messing up i may even need to use that deck with y'all <laughs> this is someone that cared about what people thought Okay, and you could be focused on your money at this time. You could have went into some type of solitude, Empress or Emperor. Okay, Libra, Taurus energy. You could be doing this now in the present moment or today. Okay, this is also you taking a leap of faith towards a divine connection, the Two of Cups. This could be with an, an Aquarius. But whoever this is cared about what other people thought. They even could have tried to do some type of spell work on you. Or they had a lack of trusting in their intuition about how something was supposed to be successful. Yeah, that's the two. Wow. Yeah, you have your happy home, but you have a happy home that's coming towards you. Your money is also increasing. They want you to heal. They understand what this person, like, this is also someone that's recognizing for who you are at this time, the Empress. You were, like, hidden in plain sight, hidden in plain view. The number three could be significant. 30 is here as well as the number 12. Okay, what's the two of cups? You're taking a leap. Yeah, God is guiding you towards a divine connection. The sun. That's going to be very healing. Okay, it's going to be wrapped around love and peace and harmony. It, and it's going to be very restful. It's not going to be draining to your energy. It's going to be something that's going to help you replenish. You can even be talking to this person on the phone, having deep conversations with this new person. This is a new energy that you're, that you're going towards. Okay, this could be someone that's a messenger like you. They could speak their truth like you. This is someone that listens to their intuition, the high priestess in the reverse. So they could be very spiritually gifted like you as well. At this time, stay focused and remember the path that you are on. This is also you continuing to love the way that you do. Like not changing the way that you love because you could have given love to someone that may not have been ready for it. Okay, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Someone here was true love. Yeah, this is someone like they felt like you didn't have a choice in regards to moving on. Or embracing someone that wanted actual equal give and take with you. But you have clear vision. Someone here could wear glasses. Okay, you could wear glasses. Yeah. 
this is a choice okay this was also a divine test this is also a lesson behind it with the wheel of fortune but it's like you're going towards your destiny things were fated to take place god is bringing you towards a place of a place of peace harmony more tranquility in your life but goodness like someone here didn't recognize that true love was right in their face yeah there was a lot of things that were being slowed down Okay, this is also you taking your time in regards to moving forward. I see that you are safeguarding your things, like your money, your assets. You're keeping a lot of things to yourself, your money, your time, your attention, your energy. This Knight of Pentacles energy, you're taking your time in regards to moving forward. This was also something that you could have been dealing with for a long period of time, okay? Like weeks, months, years for someone here. Earth energy is here as well. Could have been with an earth sign. Yeah, and you finally decided to walk away. It's like Eight of Cups energy. Okay, spirit was like something made you say, okay, like enough is enough. I'm tired of waiting the eight of swords. You could have been most definitely in your head because somebody here was suffering from childhood wounds and issues, which is why they had an inability to open up in regards to loving you. The nine of wands in the reverse. Somebody here was very egotistical, prideful. Okay, they lacked being humble. They were also very promiscuous or sexually active. They could have slept around with different people. This is someone here that was closed off towards real emotions or love with the page of cups they could have been extremely blocked off from their intuitive gifts if they were intuitive they could have lost it this is also someone that feels like you are like going to reject their apology okay they could have been extremely like uh clout hungry attention hungry an attention seeker with the knight of wands they wanted people to like notice them to be around them to look at them somebody here was very flighty very in and out with the knight of wands all over the place okay and very immature, especially with their emotions. They like worked off of impulse. Somebody here was very lustful as well with the Page of Cups and the Knight of, Cups, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you avoided a tower. The tower in the reverse. Scorpio energy with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And this was somebody's tower. You avoiding a tower is somebody's tower. Is a breaking down of a faulty and fake foundation and illusion. Okay, somebody's like fake character, demeanor. Somebody here hides that they are emotionally closed off. This is somebody here that could even be like depressed in different ways. Oh my goodness, what's the page of cups? And this is someone now that wants to call in like the white flag with you. This is, could be like a serial cheater, a habitual liar, a habitual cheater. Somebody here that could have been very manipulative. They wore a false mask. They could have like stolen money from you with the seven of swords or they like they try to like slander people with the seven of swords and the page of swords this is someone that was even trying to like slander your name lie on your name in different ways lie on your character what's the page of cups in the reverse somebody here just a liar like overall that's the truth like this is somebody here their character is so like ugh you got some type of truth and clarity about this person as well or something that you said Something that you saw, something that you said, something that you spoke, some type of information. Here is like something that you came to you, a divine insight, okay, a download, okay. Are you just using your intelligence, your your intellect, your trusting in your discernment? You were able to see the truth about this person's motives. Somebody had very ill motives and agendas in regards to you. They were also sending you a lot of negative energy with the Eight of Wands. Okay, there's a lot of blockages, delays, holdups in regards to this person moving forward or in regards to this dynamic. Okay, and this person knows that you're going in a new direction and they know that you have matured. Okay, and they know that you are not like with the game. Somebody here is all about playing games with the Knight of Wands. A very immature energy. And someone that would want you to chase after them, knowing that they're non-committal or knowing that they don't want anything really serious. What's the page of wands? You took action to like mature, to embrace your inner confidence, your self-esteem, to heal, to manifest at this time with the queen of wands. It's like you're manifesting the life that you want for yourself. And now you're celebrating, okay, with the three of cups. You could be celebrating with friends, with family, or just with like-minded people. Okay, this is also you being more social. They're going out and it's like people are wanting to court you. They're going to be wanting to date you. You have people that, yeah, you don't see this with the two of swords, that you have people that are interested. It could be a Gemini or you got options. You may not see this with the lovers. You have people that are actually interested in you. This is a brand new beginning that you are embarking on. You could also be doing something in regards to your looks. Like you look good. You could be working out. Okay. 
beautifying yourself, male or female. You could be wearing different clothes, like wearing, upgrading your wardrobe, all right? It's just something that you are doing. You're coming across as fine, as attractive. This is also like you getting a renewal in like your energy, your new vitality, feeling like there's a new life, your new passions, new imaginative ideas, new creativity, a new, a new spark, a new charisma, okay? You have courage to do something. Okay, it's like Father God is very pleased with you. Yeah, and it's making somebody upset because you're moving forward. And what you're moving forward is towards everything you want plus more. The nine of cups, the eight of cups is already out. You already did the hard work by walking away from what didn't align with you and your highest good. And this could have been very conflicting with the two of swords. Like you may not have known exactly where you were heading towards. Okay, and you even could have been in some type of deep mental conflict or this caused a mental conflict for someone with the eight of swords. Six of Swords to the Two of Swords is the Eight of Swords, and that's already out. This could have been very conflicting to you, okay? Or this could have caused mental conflict, literally. A lot of stress, worry towards someone because they know that you're going to get what you want. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, you listening to your intuition about getting out of issues, okay? The High Priestess to the Five of Wands. You are a High Priestess, Pisces, you, okay? You are very extremely gifted, very in tune with self, with the divine, Okay, with the heavens, you get those divine downloads and you get that insight. You could also be a dreamer. You could do something online with the high priestess or you studying at this time. You have wisdom. You also hold hidden knowledge that you don't let everybody know. But you drop some type of competition, drama, or discord by taking a leap of faith. That fool card is here again. Twice is here. It came out in the other deck and now it's coming out here. You freed yourself and you let something go. You caused an ending. You let something end. Something needed to end. This was an inevitable ending too with the death card so that there could be a transformation, a change, a new beginning for coming. This was also divinely guided. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio. You could have taken a leap of faith to end something with an Aquarius, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, Pisces, I'm seeing here. This was also your earth angels covering you. Okay, confirmation. Like your, your archangels covering you, your guardian angels covering you. I know I said earth angels, but I meant to say like they're angels that are over you that are watching you here on earth, they're covering you, okay? And they let something end. Yeah, because something was toxic. Look at the devil. Now this person wants to come rushing in because they realize that you are the love of their life, okay? The Ten of Cups. This is someone that sees that you're going in a brand new direction and they can't believe this, this devil energy. Somebody here thought that you were going to be bonded, stay in a place of restriction or low vibrational energy, be very lustful, focus on temptation, be away from your destiny. Somebody had thought that they had you in some type of constriction energy trapped with them. Okay, could have even have been a Capricorn or a Virgo. This was someone that was even studying like different things like in the occult divination to try to keep you stuck on them in different ways. A very toxic, low vibrational and manipulative energy. Somebody here even could have been abusive. Okay, and they're obsessively watching you with the hermit and the devil. This person is obsessively watching you. Okay, their manifestations are not coming in with the three of wands. Whatever this person thought that was going to happen is not going to happen. They know that you are moving on. The six of cups. This could be also someone that's refusing to change or refusing to learn from the past. So it's like you could have let go of the past. You could also be in deep reflection about the past, but, but could be leaving the past exactly where it's at. Okay, the three of wands. You have five of swords in the reverse. Somebody here is like they're going to try to want forgiveness okay want to move to a calmer energy they want to call in the flag with you they want to call a truce with you now with the with the five of swords okay this is someone in here that may even try to start off small with communication or just see what you're working on at this time but they see that it's something new in your life you could even be getting ready to meet somebody new a king of principles individual Someone that is loyal, faithful, honest, a boss, a CEO, somebody that is resourceful, integrity, they have integrity about them. Okay, they're logical. They could be a family man or a family woman, a business person, somebody here that has gotten it out the mud. They're very financially blessed and they have a lot of material wealth around them. Somebody here you're about to meet. This is a new opportunity, a brand new connection that's coming in because you had the strength and courage to overcome and the true self in a situation. The nine of pentacles. Okay, it's like you beat the devil. You beat somebody. They thought that they had you with the strength card and the devil. Like somebody here, the devil beat the 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 devil loses with the strength card. The strength card beats the devil. So does the higher font. So does the sun. Okay, and you had your some type of willpower and a strength, belief in self, confidence, bravery to be able to overcome. This took a lot of like inner strength, a, a strength of mindset to be able to do this. Because somebody here could have been extremely like good looking, very attractive, very good in bed. 
but they like to sleep around with the Knight of Wands. Or they like to put you on the shelf and disconnect to you when they wanted to connect to you. And you said, I ain't got time for that. I know my worth, the Nine of Pentacles. It puts somebody in regret now because now that you chose yourself, now they're realizing you are, you are a true love or you were true love to them. Why is the devil card here? Yeah, this is somebody that was obsessed with keeping you stuck on them and now they feel rejected and that was God, the higher font. Somebody who was trying to emulate or trying to act like God in your life, trying to act like they had control and power over what direction you were going towards or over your love life, over your emotions, over your mental health, over how you view yourself, over how you listen to your intuition, over the conflict, over conflict. Somebody had wanted you to be in discord, compete, okay? Constantly obsessed with trying to make something right or make something be on the same accord. Father God said, you ain't got time for that. This person is rejected now. This even could have been someone that was rejecting your morals, values, beliefs, going to church, loving God, or wanting like marriage, wanting something that was solid, traditional. Somebody here wasn't like into that, okay? But you may have been into that. You could also be very studious. You could be someone that's very religious or very spiritual or like a spiritual guru, especially with this high priestess. You could be a teacher, okay? This devil energy knew this. Whoever this person was, yeah, it was the two of cups in the reverse. This was, this was not, this was an unrequited love. There could have been a breakup, cheating, abuse, a lack of strong foundation, a lack of honesty, a, a lack of building. And you knew this, okay, that you're supposed to have love, Pisces, Queen of Cups. You're supposed to have real love, honest love. And it has to do with you loving yourself first so you are able to attract that back to you. And you're attracting in someone who is a King of Pentacles individual. I don't even know if I took him out, okay, but that's a male or female, but it has to do with you choosing self. You're the nine of pentacles, queen of cups. Not only is your intuition off the yin yang, okay, but you're someone who's nurturing, kind, a healer, okay? Someone who's very gifted and emotionally grounded and mature. And you could have went through a lot in regards to love, to be able to know your self-worth, to be able to know how to love yourself and also someone else. Also to be able to recognize God's love within your life. You had to go through a, a ending in a relationship. And this could have been something that you may not have wanted to do, but it, it strengthened you. Okay, it brought you strength, it brought you courage, it made you believe in self. It also could have strengthened your faith in different ways with this Ace of Swords already being out. Either someone's about to reach out to you or they see that you are starting on a brand new endeavor with the Page of Pentacles. And it's going to be very financially blessed, very stable, very like abundant. Something's going to take off for you. This could even be public recognition. You are inspiration. You could be getting admired by different people. People could be looking up to you or it's some type of like new start that you are embarking on at this time. And it's meant to be very big. It's meant to be very big. Like that is the truth. I cannot make it up. It's meant to be very, very big, Pisces. So congratulations. Father God is gifting you with this new promotion, a new raise. Okay, you could be making a really big purchase. Something big, an investment, unexpected money could be coming towards you with that Ace of Pentacles. Or this could be just you starting on a new project or a new idea and it building. You being able to build and you being able to make a really big profit with that Ace of Pentacles. It's God's gift for you. It's also protected. This also has to do with you standing your ground, having firm boundaries and blocking, you know, people, places and things that are not aligned. Somebody here is trying to send you a lot of negative energy and you are protected from that. You are also blocking somebody's attacks, negative attacks, information, negative information, lies, gossip, slander, whatever this is. They can even be trying to communicate with you and you're ignoring it. You're blocking it. You need to keep doing that. That's exactly what you need to do. That's bringing in your blessings more faster because somebody here, they're, they're delayed. Okay, that eight of wands is a lot of delays, a lot of blockages, a lot of bad news coming towards someone. All right, let's see. What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, somebody's plans didn't work, came out in the reverse. Somebody here was listening to their sister, and now all their dirty secrets are getting ready to be exposed. You have your two, two, two that's here. You have new beginnings, the power to manifest with God. It's all about you going with the flow of love. Okay, yeah, you're about to mean everything to someone. You will have no more delays, no more holdups, no more blockages. Somebody here tried to do something on Wednesday, and it didn't work. It was a karmic, okay, that's jealous of you. The letter C could be significant. This person's about to see. Okay, a Sagittarius could be significant. Someone could have a shortcut in deep waves. The letter F could be significant. The letter Z could be significant. Okay, yes. You also have three. Yeah, your ops and your enemies, they failing and they will be defeated and they will never, ever have money. This could be a fire sign. 
an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or somebody here that's going to try to surprise and pop up on you, okay? But they not realizing that you are God's warrior, okay? This is someone that's about to have a fall from grace. Okay, this could be happening over the weekend or somebody tried to do something over the weekend on Friday or over the weekend and it didn't work. Around the full moon energy, yeah, it was a group effort, not realizing that you were going to drop the devil or beat the devil. Okay, these plans did not work. Somebody's plans did not work. Okay, you can expect communication in one week from someone. The letter S could be significant, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs, 555 five, five this year. You have a major life change that's on the way. It's time that you embrace the new and let go of the old in the next 72 hours, okay? Yeah, you're a star. Somebody here could be realizing this. This could be an awakening, a blessing, okay? You healing from chaos and conflict, divine blessings over your life. You're an inspiration. You could be well known, a level of. There's some type of recognition that's coming towards you. The letter G could be significant. Somebody here had their mother involved. This was a third-party situation. Or somebody here could be a mother figure, Okay, like they could have children and this was like a third party, like a child's mother or a child's father. Yeah, the mind game still. That's what somebody was trying to do with you. Okay, yeah, spy. Somebody here is trying to spy on you, stalk you, spy on you on different social media platforms. This person is not single and they went towards a dark hot priest that doesn't listen to God. Somebody here was trying to do some type of work on you or energy work on you. Yeah, you have here, just be patient. I'm seeing here. Yeah, you're going to have a his and hers. You're going to be building an empire with someone. And this energy is a harlot or whoremonger that was trying to attack you. They're a Jezebel or Pharisee spirit. And they did something around the full moon, this manipulative energy, thinking that they weren't going to get caught. And they are. Okay, this could be a Taurus. Okay, the letter L could be significant. This could be a Taurus. Something could be happening in one week with this person or an earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That you were connecting to, yeah, you have it. This person's under judgment by God. Okay, blessings of wealth came out in the reverse. There's no blessing of wealth over this person. They could have gotten somebody pregnant, or this could be someone that wants to get you pregnant. Okay, your ancestors are all around you. They're protecting you and they're keeping you safe. Somebody here was trying to spread lies and rumors on you. You also have a year, and now they're mad. He or she is big mad, okay, because the divine stepped in. You have here, yeah, and it's guiding you towards the soulmate. Again, yes. <laughs> That's like the ace of swords coming out. Oh, my goodness. You are an empress. Okay, the letter P could be significant. You also have here, yeah, something could be happening on Thursday. 111 is here. So you are attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, and blessings over your life. Okay, that's your angel number. You could be seeing 111. Or even 222. Anything else that Pisces needs to know? Yeah, you are a divine high priest. You follow and you listen to God, okay? You got a Virgo in your birth chart. You could be connecting to a Virgo. You Pisces, okay? Something could have happened two months ago with another water sign or with a Virgo, okay? You also have to, yeah, you're on different pages with someone that was trying to do money schemes. To you, they were waiting to do something to you. Okay, this even could be like a to you. This could be a father figure or someone that has children. Okay, or they could have been married. You also have to know that you are never alone. The letter N could be significant, first, middle, or last initial. Yeah, this something's getting ready to take place around the new moon. You will overcome around the new moon that's coming in. Okay, yes, it's here again. You have to, yeah, you closed out a cycle. Congratulations. There is going to be a new beginning, a completion that takes place here. Yeah, somebody here is not spiritually protected. They don't have no angelic spiritual or ancestral protection. That cycle is over. With dealing with this energy, it could have been a Taurus, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Leo. Now you have blessings from the divine that's coming towards you. Love is all around you. Yeah, children were a factor. This person wants you to unblock them. You don't. It came out in the reverse. Okay, yeah, your old love. Okay, they're realizing that you are God's gift. You are on the right path. 333 is here twice. Maybe that is your angel number. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 333 is here twice. You are on the right path, and you are balancing out your mind, body, and soul. A decision needs to be made. The letter I could be significant. First, middle, or last initial. Yours are there. Somebody's in major depression because your spirit guide stepped in. Okay? You have here, and that's why you have new love that's coming. Your angels and your ancestors, they pissed off about what's going on. Something could be taking place today on Monday, today, okay? Yeah, somebody here wants to pull up, roll up, 
you know, drink with you, smoke with you, whatever. Because they know you have new love that's coming towards you. Okay, this could be an Aquarius and you could be meeting an Aquarius. Okay, all the water signs got something today that's happening. Wow. All right now. Confirmation. Okay. <laughs> all right. All of the water signs got that card today. Okay. Something is happening today. Let's see what Archangel Michael got to say. Archangel Michael, what's the advice for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, you have here. Go forward fearlessly. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, for giving confidence, for giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Okay, you also have here. This situation is already resolved. That's what I'm talking Talking about that's what I'm talking about, Archangel Michael. Like that is what I'm talking about. This situation is already resolved for you, Pisces. Okay, I give any worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for peace and all ways. Thank you for resolving this. Give details of the situation in a divinely and perfect way, because you are innocent. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given given innocence so that I may be at peace. Not only are you innocent in a situation, but it's something about how you God is restoring that purity within you, keeping you, keeping your heart pure. That's why that, I keep saying that card, work on your heart and keep loving the way that you do. I may use that deck for y'all real quick because I keep seeing that card. I keep seeing that card and I keep seeing somebody's throat chakra. This deck. I keep seeing that card. Work on your heart and keep loving the way that you do. Okay, you are the Empress. The first card that popped out. What does Pisces mean to the Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody was full of deception. Okay, you have someone that's beefing with you on the internet. It could be an influencer. You could be an influencer. It's because you're about to be a millionaire or billionaire. Okay, and they're jealous of you. And whoever this is, is a, is a demon. They're a damn demon. Okay, and they're mad. This could be a Taurus. Okay, and if people are energetically trying to F with you, this could be a Taurus trying to mess with you right now. Okay, and it could be because you are moving away. What else is here? Yeah, you have here. Somebody's only popping up to see if the spell work works. You did not imagine it. Okay, literally. Somebody here is a manipulator. And the feds are coming after this person. They're, and they're losing their mind over this. Somebody here could be doing illegal things. They were sending you magic. It could have been a group of people. Okay? The magic is boomeranging. Okay? They also, this person could have chosen or got with somebody else. And they are they broke up with that person. And they're watching you like the news you have here. It could have been a child's mother or a child's father that they are not happy with. That's getting readings done on you. Okay, this is someone that's like, you're not leaving them, but they are abusive and they're preparing to do something. Okay. They also was dealing with somebody who's like a special L, like that doesn't listen to their their intuition at all, doesn't believe in God. They want you to take them back, but they're losing their mind. Okay, you have here, talk about you, Pisces. You have here, yeah, somebody here really doesn't even want a relationship. But mind you, you have big blessings that are coming in. Okay, this could be even someone that's gay on the down low or bisexual, and they could be hiding that too. Wow. You also have to, you are, you could have an Egyptian lineage, so you are royalty. Final messages from this deck, Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody here was using voodoo and witchcraft. Okay, they're on trickster bullshit. You have that they lied about changing their ways and evolving. You don't owe this person anything. Okay, all the backstabbing shit that they are done is coming back. This is someone that's all in your business and your ancestors are about to take this person out. I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, this is someone that's getting readings done on you, which is why it's time to leave this person or it's time to break up. They're trying to sneak attack you, but again, your ancestors are about to take this person out. They own their ass. This person's going to jail or prison. They don't want me to say this or get this out, but I am. Okay, and they're all about the sex. They also could have wanted you to do something so that they could say, oh, yeah, look, I did this to you, Pisces, so that, you know, because you did it first. This person is desperate, okay? This is also someone that's happier with you. It could be a cancer, 
okay but they really want sex from you this person has karma for generations okay and they're lying on your name we about to close this out yeah don't join the dark side spirit is saying avoid this person okay they're giving their love to you to a friend and not you free yourself because know that god is watching Know that God is watching. Okay. And let's see, what is the final message? In the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay. You have here, my soul is infinite and divine. You also have here, what has been, will be, and will be. What has been, has been, and what will be, will be. There's nothing on the top and there's nothing at the bottom. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, Pisces. And I will be seeing you on the next video.